All those uh, cells will move into parts of Lawrence, even into northern parts of Butler County, northern parts of Beaver County, a threat for some of those strong storms. So you have quick, heavy downpours and some really gusty winds. So you need to be uh, careful with that. No, no watches or warnings have been issued with these thunderstorms, but still, even without a watch or a warning, you still can, they still can really pack a punch. So just uh, keep an eye on that. But the nice thing is it's actually going to be a pretty nice at night and into our Tuesday. You can see here on Futurecast around 8, 9 o'clock, still some light showers uh, south of the city along I-80. Some dense fog developing early tomorrow morning, picking that up around 4 or 5 a.m. So that's going to be the biggest issue for your morning commute. Now, as we progress throughout the day, Partly to mostly sunny skies, all that daytime heating, the humidity could spark up a few storms. But Tuesday looks like the best day out of the week. As we get around lunchtime, up along I 80 into Mercer, Venango, uh, even into northern parts of Clarion County, could have some heavier rainfall. But Tuesday throughout the day is really not going to be too bad, just hot and muggy. Now, as we head into Wednesday morning, we could have a few early morning showers, and then we'll see scattered, widely scattered showers and storms as we head into Wednesday afternoon and evening. And that's going to progress Thursday. Friday, and we're going to throw in Saturday and Sunday in there as well. Having a stop here at 7 o'clock this evening, you can see uh, right where those cells are already up along into Butler, even into Newcastle and Beaver, going to see some of the heaviest rainfall. Moving this forward into Tuesday, still see a threat for some of those heavy amounts into Beaver and Lawrence County, even into Butler. Greensburg could hit pretty good as well. But Wednesday and Thursday, that's when we're going to start to see some of that heavy rainfall moving in. Now, this is just a computer generated model. Keep that in mind, but I want you to be aware with any of these storm cells that move through, there is going to be the potential threat for some of these heavy downpours. So here's the storm outlook for Tuesday. We're in an elevated risk, a slight risk for severe storms. Really looks like mainly north of the city. Now, as we head into Wednesday, that's when we'll all be in that uh, yellow bubble, I guess you could call it, where we're going to see the potential threat for some severe storms Wednesday, also into Thursday. Right now, 81 degrees in Pittsburgh. Really feels like we're into the mid 80s, and you can see around the area, it's just very warm for us. 82 currently into Butler, 81 Somerset, also into Johnstown, Altoona. You're sitting at 84, a little bit cooler in Deep Creek at 75. They already had uh, some of those uh, storms move through. Tomorrow, around 2 o'clock, it's going to feel like this is the real feel when you factor in the humidity. It's going to feel like a lot of us are into the 90s, even into the overnight, not cooling off too much. Wednesday, still going to feel like we're into the mid 90s. So it's going to be very, very warm for us. Some areas could hit that 90 degree mark as we get into midweek. 70 around midnight, scattered showers and storms really uh, lingering early this evening. Then, as we get into tomorrow morning, partly cloudy with some areas of fog. Temps will be into the mid 60s. And getting into tomorrow afternoon, near 88 degrees, partly to mostly sunny, a few isolated thunderstorms mainly north of the city. Here is your four day plus four more forecast. What a way to welcome in the first day of summer with temps like that and a threat for thunderstorms each day.